This is Martin, Social Architect from Landskeeper. I just want to show you how to create an identity code that you can use to access our API or in some of our integrations. So when you log in into uh, Landskeeper Web Console, you uh, should see this, uh, uh, this dashboard. So you can navigate to your uh, user settings, go to developer tools, go to all application and create a new application. As you can see, I have a separate application already here, but uh, for uh, our demo purposes, I will create a new one. When I want to use an uh, identity code, I need, to I need to choose a personal application. So I will pick a personal application and uh, I will put a uh, some name. I would like to use this uh, identity code in my Jira integration application. So let's call it a Jira app. I will show, I will uh, pick up a Jira application from the list. And I can I can put a more more comments or description, but uh, for now I don't want to use it and just want to add an application. Now I have a new application Jira app and I need to go inside and authorize the application to certain sites because I can manage under my single account, I can manage multiple, multiple sites. So I press the button authorize and I get a, a selection of the sites that I want to authorize the application to have access. I can specify a, a token, um, token life. So for my case, I just want to, to leave it for 30 days, but you can specify your date or you can create a non expiring token. And I want to access only uh, the demo site uh, that I have uh, in my, for my demo, demo purposes. So I just uh, press allow. And now I got an identity code. Keep the identity code uh, because this is the last time you can, you can see it. So you can just copy it and uh, configure it in your G application, fresh disk application or Postman or anywhere else when the identity code is required. And that's it. Thank you for watching.